fucking through Japan. Oh, hiyo, Katamura des. After leaving Lake Ashi, we decided it was time to revitalize our power banks and finally get started on our YouTube adventure. After asking Eric to look up a hotel for us, we decided we could go to uh, the Fuji town and stay there for a night to have enough power to make all the YouTube videos. This is the same hotel where we got the yukata, which we used in a previous intro video. <laughs> During this time, Jeroen went looking for a, a new promising lake and found the lake of Tenchi. So we decided to take the train up to Ida, which is a town nearby, and hike the rest of the way up. Before we could go to Ida, we had to wait, um, I think an hour and a half, before we could take the train. And during that time, Jeroen found an ekiben, which is uh, an obento box, a lunch box, which is specific to the station, meaning that each station has its own specific uh, lunchbox, which we saw lots of anime about. <laughs> so we were really excited to try our first ekiben. Okay, our first ekiben. Itadakimasu! Okay, we're back. Off we go to Ide, where we first stock up on some nude food supplies for a hike up. Kashiba mochi. Later that afternoon, we made our way up to the mountain. We set up camp a bit early since we found a nice spot between the road and a small stream. My first leech. The following morning, it didn't take long before we came upon the school shrine. Afterwards, we continued our way up, following a paved car road. Nice and easy to walk on. And pretty few used to boot. Before long, we finally caught sight of the lake, which turned out to be a dam. Here, the lake was fenced off, so we walked on, hoping to go down a little bit further on. And on, and on, and on. Finding the stop, do not go down signs all along our way. Eventually, the lake turned back into a river, and still we were not allowed to go down. A goat. After going a little further, we walked into a small village, where finally we could go down to the river. Here, we set up camp in the pouring rain. Oh, it's so rainy today, so I think we're just gonna sit it out. Early next morning, we explored the neighborhood and found a bigger village upstream. We also spent this day washing our clothes in the river and letting them dry in the afternoon sun. We searched every corner in the hope of finding a food shop, but alas, we sought in vain. Stick insect! We did, however, find lots of tea fields. A beautiful, peaceful village. The next day won't be nearly as peaceful for us. Stay tuned and we'll see you next time. To follow our adventure, please subscribe. For more details and photos, please follow us on Google+. Want to help us? 
Please support us on Patreon. God damn it. <laughs>